Hello Legion men, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down Level Up 7 months ago. I made a video predicting the future, okay? I made a video called Hearts of Iron 4, What If America Shoots Missiles at Syria? And you know what happened the very next morning? America shot missiles at Syria. Although, it didn't get as hot as I wanted it to, or at least it was in my video. In real life, all that really happened was America had shot some missiles at Syria. But in my video, Russia decided to start World War III like a total badass. I think they lost. I can't remember. But hey, we've got another hot situation going on in the world, so why not make another one of these? Today, what if Russia invades the Ukraine? Because obviously there's some tension going on over there. The Russians uh, kidnapped a bunch of Ukrainian sailors, and they're being held in Crimea as captives right now. There was some uh, tension that went on in the Black Sea, and Russia actually cut off Ukraine's access to this this little area. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it, it has a name. Now, obviously, 99% chance this leads to nothing, but what if the fun thing happens and war actually does start? And we're going to explore that today in a video game. So Ukraine is obviously actually not in NATO. So in order to get World War III to actually kick, what I had to do was I had to make all of the NATO countries actually guarantee the independence of Ukraine. Also, I allowed Novorossiya to join Russia's faction, which would be pretty realistic to the situation. Really quick before we start though, Blog and Fletcher, Cody Venturini, Infinitum Gamer, Paxis, Rodney, and Samuel Bjornsson, thank you all for your pledges on Patreon. And also guys, remember that we're trying to hit 30k before the end of the year, and we are well on our way to doing that, and I really appreciate all of your support. Before my um, What If Every Christian Muslim Country went to war video where I asked to help me hit my goal of 30k before the end of the year. We were at 26,900 and now we're at 28,400. So doing super good boys. We, we're already halfway there. <laughs> Hammer it in boys. Maybe we could even hit 35k before the end. But other than that boys, that's all I've got for you. And if any of you guys would also like to pledge uh, support on Patreon, there is a link in the description if you really like this channel and thanks for subscribing Felix I did one test run and it went pretty crazy a lot of things happened as a result of just this war like World War 3 obviously kicked off but it opened up a ton of other fronts around the world and it was pretty fun I didn't finish it because I didn't want to see what would happen it did seem like it's gonna be a little bit hard for Russia to win but what I saw there definitely was a chance that they could win Russia is stronger in modern day 4 than it is in Millennium Dawn by the way, a lot of you were complaining about me using Millennium Dawn so much because the AI is horrible, so if I can, in the situations that I can, I will be trying to use Modern Day 4. The only problem with it is there's less states in Europe to be played with, and it crashes way more. So we might experience some crashing, but I will record with this mod as much as possible. Alright boys, Russia is officially declaring war on Ukraine, calling its allies. Obviously, the date is... March in 2017, but just pretend it's about a year later. Actually, just pretend it's about two years later. And there it is, boys. Ukraine is calling all of its people that guarantee its independence. Russia called in a bunch of its allies. And the invasion into Ukraine has begun. Okay, South Ossetia is the first country to officially join Russia's faction. The Organization for European Security. It is a little bit easier to see... Um, what's really going on if we look at it in faction map mode. So currently it's just Germany and France have formed a new faction, Organization for European Security. Abkhazia joined Russia, Ukraine called Mongolia. Hold on. Did they form a faction together? I didn't... Why does Mongolia guarantee... Why is Mongolia joining the war? <laughs> I don't... Mongolia doesn't guarantee. The House of Representatives of Libya has decided to join Russia as well. And the Shanghai Pact is another faction that will grow exponentially as well. Looks like joint Belarusian, Russian, and Novorossian troops are right outside Kiev, and Kiev is undefended. Also, the Indians are sending the support to Russia instead of the West, so we can kind of see where India's stance is. Iran is also sending support to Russia. Mongolia has just joined the Shanghai Pact, so that might mean Russia is going to have to fight China, which would be insane. But so far, so good for the Russians, it looks like. They've already captured Kiev, and Ukraine isn't putting up that much of a resistance. They do have divisions, but the Russians are definitely outflanking them. India joined non-aligned movements uh, for Middle Eastern organization. 
<laughs> for peace and stability. Okay. Okay, so it's led by Kurdistan. That went a little bit differently in my in my um test game. It was led by India instead in my test game. But uh but hey, how this is how it goes, you know, every every game's different. And that's how I like it. How are the Baltic states doing? Um so NATO's army is lining up preparing to attack. Russia is not going to be very prepared for that. Obviously, you can see that they don't have very many troops on that line. They're just focusing on um, trying to knock Ukraine out right now. Was Kiev recaptured? I can't tell if it's on this. I guess it's on this side. So no, it wasn't recaptured, but a lot of the territory surrounding Kiev was recaptured. Also, Kaliningrad was easily and swiftly taken by Poland. So if Shanghai Pact ends up going to war with Kurdistan, to try to reclaim this for Iraq. Actually, are they already at war with non-aligned Middle Eastern? They are, but India just hasn't been called in against China or anything, so the Chinese-Indian front has not opened yet. It looks like it could at really any moment. All right, so bad news for Belarus. It's getting pushed into pretty hard. Brest has been taken pretty quickly, and they're pretty close to Minsk now, actually. Kiev has also been, oh nope, still hasn't been retaken. It's really close though. Azerbaijan just joined, oh my gosh, jeez. Uh, People are sending uh, volunteers to to India as well. Oh, okay. So yes, the war did just kick off between India and China. Azerbaijan joined India's team. So there's a whole new team as well. There's two other teams that aren't even participating in the main war, but this could be an extension of World War Three. In my test game, Russia did a little bit better than this. They were able to capture quite a bit more of Ukraine before it slowed down. Man, look at this. It slowed down. It stalled. Although the Russians don't have enough divisions to hold the whole line, so up here in the Baltics, it's getting kind of bad. The Middle East is still a complete mess as well. The Peninsula Shield Force, Shanghai Pact, the non-aligned blue one, uh, Resistance Axis even. I think they have an ally, an ally over here, yeah. And then there's even the ones that aren't even in factions. There's ISIS, there's Ro there's this other Syrian Kurdistan one. They're all still alive, and they're all still fighting, and they're all attacking each other. Also, Armenia is somehow beating Turkey. I think Armenia just has quite a strong army at the start, and Turkey had to divert a lot of troops up north, fight Russia. So that gave Armenia a bit of an edge. It also looks like the Russians took a lot of divisions out of Ukraine and moved them north to sort of more evenly divide the troops, which is probably a good idea. They could probably get some uh, encirclements off on NATO. That's how Russia's gonna have to win, because they don't have the troops like NATO does. So what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to pull the NATO's they're gonna have to pull NATO's divisions into traps and circle them and kill them little by little. They're even threatening to cut the southern part of uh, Ukraine off and threaten Romania a little bit, which would definitely overextend Russia's lines. But they could probably pull off a nice southern Ukrainian encirclement eventually. Oh, there was a NATO landing in Abkhazia. And that's very threatening. Look at all those American tanks. Let's actually see what that actually is. Let's see what that actually is, though. Yeah, it's just a bunch of American tanks. <laughs> Well, boys, I'm going to leave you with a little time lapse. It'll be like one or two minutes long, and I'll see you in a sec.
All right, welcome back, boys, to the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. As you can see, the Russians' advance has completely collapsed, um, and uh, the Middle East is still a giant mess. And wow, I didn't realize it was Nepal that controls all that. Um, but China and its allies, mostly Nepal, have been kicking India's butt. And that's quite the contrast from Millennium Dawn, where India will usually defeat China almost every single time. Oh wow, Vladivostok has been taken by the UK. It's almost like the AI knows that it's really hard to capitulate the Russians without Vladivostok. Except I'd actually never watch it happen in this mod, I don't think. I think it takes, it might even take quite a bit longer because there's quite a lot more cities everywhere. Wow, yeah, Russia is only 55% or 56% uh, towards capitulation, which is absolutely crazy that they're only that far to capitulation. Make sure that you guys write in the comments ideas for future videos. I've got a list going on here that I'm going to be making videos out of uh, here pretty soon. So stay tuned for those. I'm gonna try and upload a little bit more rapidly than three videos a month. I, I promise, boys. I'm gonna try and get it going. The, the previous video really inspired me to get go back to get back going again because of how well it did. And boys, I've been planning this for a little while. I think now's the time to announce it. If you guys remember back in our Every State Independent series, we had a little competition that we did. We had a country ball uh, comic competition to see who could create the best country ball comics. Now, boys, we're gonna have another competition. This is the second. Calm down, level up, country ball competition. And uh, it doesn't have to pertain to this video or any videos as of recent. All it has to do is just encapsulate a certain moment from one of my videos. It could be a favorite moment or a, a moment that made you laugh, something that you remember. Just turn a moment into a country ball comic and send it to me on Twitter. There's a link in the description. You can also email me. Um, you can find my business email in, on the about page, but it did really fun, but it did really well last time and I'm uh, happy to see some more submissions soon. I'll announce this on Twitter and a few other places as well as in the next video. But yeah, boys, make sure to send me your, your submissions. The winner will win a copy of or like the top three will win copies of Age of Civilizations 2, which just came out, which is very hyped up by everybody right now. I've been playing it a little bit. It's pretty good. And I'll also have a video uh, on that game coming out eventually, too. Well, boys, Russia surrendered, and uh, they didn't really lose much. They actually gained. <laughs> it's uh, it's weird. They gained a bunch of Kazakhstan for some reason. I don't know why Russia was giving Kazakhstan, but they were. And guess who uh, is the puppet owner of Russia now? It's Poland. Jeez, how the tides have turned. Also, Novorossiya has gone annexed into Ukraine. The rest of the world is still just completely riddled with war. The Middle East is still fighting itself. Africa, as you can see, there's wars all over the place. Indonesia is just absolutely insane. Uh, China and the Western powers are all conquering Indonesia right now. India is currently occupied. The only place where there's not war is the Americas. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Make sure to send me a country ball comic that you make about your favorite moment from my channel or just a moment you thought was good or funny or whatever it is. I remember we're trying to hit 30k by the end of the year, so please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.